All right, you ready to chill out and play some Ico? Back options. <laughs> We're gonna play some Ico. Let's do it. Wait, do you want to do an intro or something? Options back. <laughs> Playing Ico. Welcome to Tiles. And... Back options. Options back. <laughs> Alison has been doing mic tests for me for the past thirty minutes. Return to title screen. I think I broke her. <laughs> we found out what we were doing wrong. What? You... <laughs> what? I was about to say. I was we... literally just doing this. No, you did it already. Look, it's oh. in place. <laughs> we figured out what we were doing wrong. Whoops. He's like, wow, this kid is really stupid. Hey guys, you want to know what I did? I went to a foreign country for the first time. Oh, 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 okay. Yes, Woo. I went to a foreign country for the very first time. For a choir competition, and guess what? We beat Europe. <laughs> I was leaving them in suspense, Ty. I thought maybe you died, so I went ahead and told them. No, I was saying, yes, we won a choir competition. Yes, we are in an internationally acclaimed choir. No big deal. On toi? Huh? That's what he says. What that? On toi? Don't Up talk. those stairs to the right. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. I swear it is. Up, no, wrong stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Up those stairs to the right. You goober. You're a goober. I'm You're a, go a big fat peanut. <laughs> Pick it up, dude. There we go. You're oh, a strong my goodness, little boy. This child. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, me or the me or the kid? Maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Whoa. -da 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 -da. That cameraman's dead. <laughs> okay. What new horrors await us inside? Oh, oh a save point. A save point. Let's do a save Probably point. Probably means something scary is going to happen. Who? Who knew? Turn around, turn around, turn around. No, not that way. What are you, you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Other way. There's another way. door. Turn around. There's another door? Yes. I can't do this. You can. It's been 20 seconds. <laughs> All you have to do is where, put... Where'd the kid... Where'd the, where'd the girl go? Yorda? I remember her name's Yorda. Zorda. So get her by the door. Yes. Put her against the door. Okay. You stand in front of her <laughs> and then smack them as they show up. Because okay. they'll all come from the same. No, uh, I'm trying, the... trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And quick, turn smack, around, smack him, smack him, smack him. Smack, 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 smack. smack. Sheesh. Okay, you're good. Are they all gone? Yes. Uh, come with me, my sweets. Oh, no, sweetie. Uh, She's like, I conquered this box. It's my. Oh, okay. Uh, oh! Apparently. See you. Oh. Um, you need another box. I know what you're going to have to do. Hmm. What is also the weight of a small child and could stay on that space while you go inside? I'm scared. Are you taking me with you? No. I can't, my sweet. No, where are you go? I guess I'll stay here. Oh, no. No. <laughs> right? Yeah, just push that. <sighs> <laughs> Oops. Alessandra. <laughs> Oompa. Loompa. Do buddy do. <laughs> I've got another puzzle for you. Put the box in the hole. Oh. Break those pots. <laughs> Break those pots. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that most video game protagonists are like slightly mentally handicapped in like the canon of their world but people just kind of ignore it because they don't want to be mean but like imagine if you saw a kid and you said hey kid break that pot and he just kept smacking the wall like five times and then finally he turned and like hit the pot correctly you probably think hmm maybe something's up with this kid but out of politeness i'm not going to say anything being alone in a dungeon sure is rough it's uh it's kind of lonely sometimes Hi. I love Stop. you, Chain. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. 
I suck. I wow, suck. Wow, there's like a million of them. I suck. Okay, okay. Go up the ladder, get her, and then turn around because they're all going to be right behind Shoot. you. Shoot. And then they're all... <sighs> we can smack them. Oh, good. Good job. And then smack that guy. Oh, crap. Oh, nice. That weirdly helped. I think I saw another one. Yep. Oh, it's like a little... It's <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to be the one to kill the princess. <laughs> oh, oh, no. The portal's closed. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if you leave him? The portals are all closed. You can't, can he... Wait, wait, wait. Let him get to her. Can it even do anything? Oh. It's kind of cute. Oh. oh, he just left. Oh. Okay. That was Come adorable. Here, I didn't know that they would do that. Oh, 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 okay. I thought that was a straight, like, hole in the ground. Oh, it's the windmill from my poster. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Turn around. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. Every now and then I get, get a little, little bit lonely, lonely when and you're and never and coming around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous and it da 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 da. Oh man, that did not sound good. Oh, it sounds like a freaking monster. I believe you got to get on those windmill arms. Like, there has to be a way. <gasps> you did it! Holy crap! Hold on. So Climb near the end. Climb near the end. What? Uh... Get up on there. Get up on there. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. Uh, shoot. Uh, what? Hop uh, off. Hop uh, off. Uh, get uh, off now. Whoa, you did it. <laughs> Dang. I just had to time it right. I think we should cosplay this, them, next year at Dragon Con. I've actually always wanted to cosplay Aiko or oh, uh, or Wonder. Good. Yeah. Well, next year will be a perfect opportunity. Have you seen those? Um, they're really good for cosplay, but it's like these th these sticky pads you put on the bottom of your feet, so that uh, it's like wearing shoes, but you look like you're barefoot. No. It's really cool. People have been saying like, if you want to do a barefoot cosplay, because she's always barefoot, um, it works really well. Because it gives you all the advantages of wearing shoes um, without actually <gasps> wearing shoes. Because it's like a pad that just sticks to the bottom of your foot. Yeah. But it's like a little shoe sole. Oh, hey, guys. I got a new job, too. And I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Why don't you like it? Because it's a serving job. And I have to learn about beer. Tell us, Alessandra. What do you know about beer? Well, there are some beers that are just brewed differently. Um... Some beers uh, are brewed with uh, something called hop. Hot, hop or hops? Hops. Hops, hops, hops. Um, it's the sort of yeast, I guess, that they use to um, make it more bitter. Okay, I got a question for you. Yes? Why is it that people refer to beer as smooth? Like Smooth as in... So, like, you know how beer is car is carbonated, right? Yeah. And sometimes you get, like, a more, like, kind of like with Coke, you get a more, like, spicier, you get, you get a spicier taste. Yeah. Well, it depends on the way the beer is brewed. I, I mean, I am all taking this from my own understanding. If, if someone is a beer expert out there, please correct me. But I think depending on how the beer is brewed... Depends on how smooth the uh, carbonation is. Ty is drinking a beer in front of me right now. <laughs> Say I took a taste of it. So either because this is a macro beer, it has a very carbonated taste to it, but it has raspberries, and it's very tart. So the hops in it is probably... Um, because it was previously cold, the coldness 
I really don't know what I'm saying at this point. It's like techno babble. Yeah, it's it's really hard to explain. I think that beer and like beer tasting is I treat it like a big conspiracy. There's very few beers that I like. I'm not even a huge fan of Purple Haze. I just think it's all right. Um, and we're trying to chill out and relax, so it's good for that. But I think that um, I think the whole beer tasting scene and uh, how people like beer in general is a big conspiracy. I think that there is so little variation from beer to beer. Like, if and you, you know, I keep it, reading my material, and it's just like you get the flavor and the smell first, and then you and then you start to drink it, and then you'll taste it. There was one beer that that I had in Germany that purely tasted like grapefruit. It did. That's good. You did not at all taste any wheat. But at that's kind of good because that gives it a definition. Like, yeah, exactly. Like it, the purple haze is all like, oh, it's got like a raspberry. Fl- it's a raspberry lager, it says. Yeah, it's and a it's, raspberry lager. But it doesn't hardly at all taste like raspberries. Like, it's so subtle. Like, if, if you handed me this blindfolded, I'd be like, it feels like you took like a couple drops of raspberry juice in just like a normal beer. Like, it doesn't have enough definition. Yeah, it doesn't. For instance, that's why I like cider so much. Cider, yeah. I feel like, has so much flavor and so much to offer. Like, do you remember when we, when I brought home the, um, the Angry Orchard seasonals? So, um, I've got Iceman, Strawman, and the Muse, and all three taste really different from one another. It's extremely easy to identify one to the next. I feel like a lot of ciders have some like really defined taste. Even something generic like Angry Orchard, which is the most like, you know, run of the mill, like middle of the road <laughs> cider has enough definition to it that if i tasted it next to like crispin i'd know the difference because they taste different whereas beer it's so tough to tell and i feel like not only that you know how most people like you ask anybody it seems if you ask them like how did you feel about your first beer they'll probably say i didn't really like it and you're like well why do you drink beer and they'll say uh it's an acquired taste i hate that answer anyways yeah, R- rants, for the most part, is just that I don't, I think beer is a, to me, the, the beer drinking scene is a big conspiracy, because everybody says they didn't like their first beer, but they just kept drinking it until they liked it, and then people will be like, beer aficionados, and I'm like, I don't know, man, like, no matter how much I drink it, I just Bruh, can't. there's a thing over there. Huh. Whoa! Huh! Huh! Did you just fall through that hole? Huh! Boy, I like this game, but boy, is it frustrating. Ooh, there's a ladder. I'm gonna go up the ladder. What a thrill. Oh, that, that looks cool. It does. Where's a bench? Whoa, she rushed in. All right. Wow, okay. She just started running. There's a bench we can save at. Uh-oh. Jeez. Oh. <gasps> it's the sword. Wait, is, so is it stuck in that big circle? Yes, but I need to go outside somehow. Dude, hold on a minute. There's stairs leading up to that. Maybe you can spin them later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should call it a night. Well, hold on. What are those platforms over there? That's not a door. Uh, I thought it was a ladder of some sort. No, no, no. That weight above you is going to fall. I wonder what the ladders were on the outside, though. Wait, Mm. look at the giant laser. (gasps) Save! I say we just save. Yeah. We're sleepy, so we're going to go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Good night, peepees. Bye bye, sleepy sheepies. Good good night.